Ten years ago, I started looking for a building where I could start my first art gallery in my hometown of San Jose, California. After years of getting in trouble for painting the streets, I thought it was finally time to do things legit and start giving back to the community of artists I have gotten to know throughout the years. We found an old meat factory warehouse on the edge of Japantown. The address was 7th Street and Empire. We started renting it. It took about a year and a half to fix up the place. But here's where Empire 7 Studios was born. My dream of finally owning and running an art gallery was realized. The landlord gave us a verbal agreement that we could stay there for 10 years. In those 10 years, we've had at least one show every month, featuring local and up and coming artists from all over the world. We gave many artists their first art show ever, and we are proud to have been able to support our local creative community as much as we have. What I've enjoyed the most um, in putting all these art shows together, together with me and Carlos, is seeing the process the artists works with. Um, you know, there are some artists we've worked with since the beginning of the eight years, and we've seen them progress over time. We've had over a hundred unique art shows since we opened Empire Seven Studios, and we are grateful for all that have come out to enjoy the art. Giving artists a place to show their latest work has been an incredible experience and has led to some amazing projects, like the mural project that we started. The San Jose Mural Project gets local and international artists to paint huge murals on local businesses to help bring a new life and attention to the vibrant creative community here in San Jose. The murals have helped businesses grow and the mural tour has made San Jose a destination for art lovers to come visit. And for me, it's really about that. It's really about making people stopping them from their day-to-day -day and just allowing them to take a moment to have an imagination. Our art shows and mural projects are our babies. However, sadly, we have recently been asked to leave our current location because the landlord is selling the property to real estate developers. These developers plan on turning our art gallery into luxury apartments. The day after I heard the news, I was feeling pretty sad. I can't lie, I was ready to give up. Then a friend came by to discuss what would happen next for Empire 7 Studios. He asked me to imagine, if I had all the money in the world, where would I want to build a new Empire 7 Studios art gallery? Right away I thought of a space in the heart of Japantown. Then he said, okay, let's do a GoFundMe and make it happen. We started writing down everything we needed and began working on a campaign. Our goal now is not to make the same mistake and that's invest a lot of money into a building that we do not own. So our goal is to rebuild and own our own building. And I have to move again. <laughs> Ever. While waiting to get a video made to go along with the fundraiser, we found out that an old historic building in our ideal location was available to buy. The building used to be called the Dragon Club. It's a block and a half away from our current location and it's closer to the heart of Japantown. This means it will be easier for people to visit our art gallery. The vision for the new space would be we're going to aim high for a four-story complex, a building with a basement recording studio, a gallery uh, street level, and then create uh, artist residencies and studios on the third and fourth level. Well, artist residency in many cases can serve as a way to be either give a local artist uh, enough time and space to create a body of work, whether it's one month, two months, etc. He's able to focus his energy in one place. Uh, in some cases, you can't have an artist ship you a bunch of canvases from, you know, across the world. So the best thing to do is have them fly over here. We have an airport right down the street and he's able to come here and stay with us in San Jose for, let's just say, three months, create a body of work within a month and a half, prepare for the show, and then showcase here as well. So it's a great way to harness and house a, an artist and allow him to create a solo show. And her. And her. <laughs> If we can afford it, we would also like to add a dark room for photography and a ceramic studio where artists can work with clay. 
Realistically, a project of this caliber will be somewhere around $3 million, if not more. However, we hope to cut costs by using contractors and designers we have met throughout the years. We think we can create the building for $1.5 million. Please donate whatever you can to help us reach our goal by January 1st, 2017. This way we can keep giving the public free art shows in a more central location and encourage artists to stay in San Jose. Our goal is to raise the money by January 1st because that is when we get kicked out of our current building. However, we would like to start building sooner so we can limit the delay of upcoming art shows as much as possible. Please donate whatever you can. $100 and $50,000 donations are equally appreciated. And if you can't donate, please share this campaign. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody for all the support uh, over the years. It's been an amazing ride and We, uh, we do want to continue this, um, and uh, we would like for uh, any type of support, we are asking for donations to make this happen. And, um, you know, we will be here in Japantown. Um. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know, now he's got me, like. That's awesome. That's but, um, yeah, we, we, we uh, We do support um, everyone that's come through. We, 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 uh, we're very humbled. We thank everyone for uh, all the, you know, over the 10 years, people that have come to support the art, people that have come here and got dirty and helped paint the walls or sand the walls or build or um, do video, our DJs, everything. There's so much. Yeah, it's okay. Um. So we like to ask everybody to please donate and help continue supporting us uh, with this venture. We love what we do and we love working with the artists that we've been able to so far work with. We look forward to working with so many more. Um, and we really appreciate everybody's support.